Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And I'm not content just being able to nuke nearby cities. Battleship New Jersey also had the capability to fire Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and we found the keys for those too. I'm really tired of all the power boaters out here creating wakes and people skiing behind them and whatnot. Stop having fun, I have to be at work. We can take care of them. So, um, we had the box of all the gunnery department keys, and we were very confused about what they were, and uh, finally did enough digging around that we were able to figure it out. So first of all, the Tomahawk key slots, check out the uh, videos in the link in the description below to find out more about those. Uh, it's right on the freaking console, right in front of you. You know where to use it. The harpoon, you look at this, there's no evident uh, key slot. So we were confused why there's so many freaking keys. The key slot is on the side here, which is particularly interesting because we've got two consoles next to each other. There's not a whole heck of a lot of room. Like this makes sense because the keys would be held by the missile officer. And when the tactical action officer sitting in the barber chair in the middle of the room says permission to fire, the enlisted sailor here types in everything to create the firing solution, and then the missile officer will actually put the key in and enable it. And it makes more sense him standing off to the side here than it does him looming over the shoulder of the sailor. Uh, so that is how this was set up. Normally, a ship is only going to have a battery of harpoons. That's usually two quadruple launchers, and they're Set at a 45 degree angle, and they usually are firing cross deck opposed. So, if you want to fire port or starboard, not that it matters much uh, because the missile can then do whatever it's programmed to do. But you've got two launchers in a battery. Iowa class battleships, so they've got more reserve of buoyancy. Why not add more battery? Just add a second battery. And so a battery is typically there's two launchers and a launch console. And so we've got four launchers and two launch consoles. So the key slot being on the side, it wasn't really designed to have multiple side-by-side -side launchers. The Harpoon is a great missile because it's a bolted on after the fact thing. You can add it to any ship. And if you start to add more displacement to that ship and you don't need the anti-ship capability anymore, you can remove some or all of those missiles. So for example, many of the uh, Arleigh Burke destroyers nowadays only carry two uh, pairs of Tomahawks instead of two quadruple Tomahawks, and they simply unbolt the top two and remove them. So it, it's a very scalable system, and it doesn't require vertical launch space. You can just drop it on almost anything. Um, and everything from Allied patrol boats up to Iowa-class battleships carried these Harpoon launch uh, missiles, and then even aircraft carriers carried Harpoons that could be launched by their aircraft. So, uh, the actual keys for launching them. There is a single key that enables all Tomahawk consoles. There's a single key that enables all of the uh, nuclear permission to fire on Tomahawk consoles. For whatever reason, that's not the case with Harpoons. Our two consoles, panel one and panel two, each have a separate key. So, um, this is tagged Harpoon WCIP. That's just the name of the, uh, the panel here, number one. So, I insert the key, and it will turn to the enabled position. The enabled light starts blinking. But, if I take this one, which is tagged as WCIP2, The key will go in, but it will not turn. It does turn in console number two. So, uh, very interesting that these are keyed differently. It seems like New Jersey's original Harpoon consoles were left on board, whereas the Tomahawk consoles were stripped, and the ones that we have on board now, we stripped off of other vessels. Now. These are to actually launch from these consoles, but they're not the only 
harpoon keys. We've also got one that's labeled harpoon casualty panel. There's a one and two of these keys as well. Uh, and this is a smaller type key that doesn't fit in here or anywhere else that we've found. Harpoon casualty keys are for if CEC gets knocked out. Uh, on most ships, these are not in an armored position. On the battleships, we've got two inches of armor around CEC, but that's nothing compared to the rest of the ship. Uh, pretty much any sort of modern uh, missile for use against surface ships could penetrate this space and destroy these launch consoles. So if that happens, somewhere there is a casualty panel. And my suspicion is this key will unlock the panel so we can get in it. And these keys, harpoon casualty enable number one and number two. And they're the same sort of uh, launch keys as the, the regular launch ones um, in, in key design are what we would use to actually fire uh, those missiles. So uh, just showing you, this is Harpoon uh, Casualty 1. It does not turn in Harpoon Panel 1. So it, there's probably another key slot like this in a Casualty Panel somewhere else on the ship that we're still hunting for. Uh, what happens if you don't have this and you just casually fire the missile? Basically, um, the harpoon has its own sensor on it and it will engage the first thing that it sees. So if you have a casualty and this is knocked out, but you're still in a gunfight and you need to fire more missiles, you point the missile, i.e. You, you maneuver the ship to be broadside to your target, and you hope to God none of your assets are between you and that target, and you use the casualty enable key to fire that missile and it will just go straight and the first thing that its sensor sees is what it'll engage. Those are our Harpoon launch consoles and um, the information we have on our casualty panels, which we will hunt for and uh, try to show you in a future video once we've found them. Uh, otherwise, this is our fourth video in our series about the keys to the ship that we found. Uh, the other ones are, are linked down below. Uh, we've got the keys to crack open all of the reduction boxes. We got the keys for uh, firing nuclear tomahawk. We got the keys for firing the harpoons. And we don't have the keys, but we found the key slots for, um, for the second set of keys that have to go into firing a tomahawk cruise missile. What other keys are you hoping we'll find in the future? Let us know in the comment section down below. Which of these keys do you think is the coolest? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State. Also, a number of other businesses and private individuals. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people find out about us and our channel, or by clicking the link in the description below to donate. Thanks for watching.